Hey, uh, crazy day again. I wanted to get on here and clear up something that's going around on social media about me. It's going around in the community. There's some of my big fans in the community spreading information and trying to discredit me. And I will take anything head on because I have nothing to hide. Nothing. So here we go. I, people are on social media saying that I wasn't a teacher at the school. People are on social media saying, oh, you can't believe her. She didn't even have a license. She was just an aide at the school, um, which that kind of bothers me that they're trying to use that to discredit me because there is nothing wrong with the aides at the school, okay, at any school because aides work very hard, okay, and they often get some of the, you know, the overflow of jobs, and I just think for someone to discredit me saying she's just an aide, well, what are you saying about the aides? Because that's that's pretty sad. But anyways, here we go. I'm going to go through the history of my teaching career. In 2005, I graduated from IUPUI. I went to Ball State for a couple of years, and I transferred, and I finished at IUPUI. I have my transcripts right here. This was in 2005. Here's my transcripts. Graduated with a 3.6 GPA, not too bad. So after that, I was actually pregnant with my son, thankfully, and I had a and I had a son the following year. And I did not go right into teaching because I was able, thankfully, again to stay home with my son. I did off and on work at CVS Pharmacy. And I met my, my husband in uh, 2009, and I moved up to Frankton, Indiana. I stayed home for another year or so with my son, and then when he went to kindergarten, I reached out to the school, Frankton Elementary, said I have a teaching degree, I'd really like to get a job. They, had, they did not have any teaching positions open for me, but they had an aid job that I took. It was perfect. It worked out um, for our schedule with my son, all of those things. So that's what I did. I did that for a couple of years. And then in 2013, I had my daughter. So I did not, I, I decided again to stay home with my daughter. So I stayed home for a few years until she was ready to go to kindergarten. Okay. Before that, from 2010, when I first got the job at Franklin Elementary, when my son started kindergarten, to 2012, I did have them validate my teaching license. And here it is, okay? And not to be a smart aleck, but I know it's a different last name, but see, I got married, and I literally, because there are so many haters right now, I'm going to show you. There's my marriage license. That was me. And I got married. So my last name changed. When you're a teacher in Indiana, you are able to get a two year, uh, educator's license. And within those two years, you, there's requirements you need to do to transfer it to a five year license. Okay. And you can renew that two year license. Uh, this was the initial one. I can renew it two more times. Okay. So it went, it was expired back in 2012, no big deal. Last year, my daughter started kindergarten, okay? I had stayed home with her, and last year she started kindergarten. I really wasn't looking to pick up a full-time teaching job, and because I still wanted to have some of that time with her while she's little, so I reached out to the school. They had an aid position last year, and I took it. I took it, and I enjoyed it, and I loved the people that I worked with, and, and there's nothing wrong with being a teacher's aid. So here you go. Yep, instructional aid. So even though I have all the requirements to be a teacher, this year they had a Title I teaching position open up. And I always thought I would love to do Title I. I like to work with small groups, I enjoy working uh, with one on one with kids. And I also liked that it was, 
it was a Monday through Thursday job that where you have Fridays optional sometimes and that just fit my schedule for right now. I really wanted that job. I went after it and I got it and I was proud of that and I was fully open with the direct the title director at Franklin Elementary and I said, hey, my license is expired. Do I need to uh, make it valid? And if so, can I do the IMAP series, whatever we need to do in order to transfer it over to a five-year uh, license? And she told me that they had problems with that, with some other educators, other title teachers in the past, and that they that wasn't something you could do through the title program, but she said it wasn't a big deal that it was not, I have all the credentials and it wasn't a big deal for a Title I teacher that it was not uh, valid. So I never validated it because once you do that and you start the clock on, you, you know, I can renew it two more times for the initial practitioner's license. With If you don't, within those four years, get the requirements done to transfer it to a five-year then there's a lot of extra stuff you have to do and there was just no reason for me to validate this license for this last year okay so that's the only reason it's not valid but if i wanted to i could sign a paper tomorrow and have a valid teacher's license i have done all of the requirements and since the school wants to push back and ask and um act like you know i wasn't a teacher then i Parents, I would, I would start calling those schools because I will tell you 100% there are teachers working there that don't have all of the requirements that you need to even get your license. I have them, okay? People are just trying to discredit me and my, credit, and my character. Now, as a Title I teacher that I loved my job, here, here's my, let's see. Yep. There you go. Title one, um, people are saying, well, she was just an aide. Nope, I looked it up and, and I don't have the paper right now, but I looked it up. Trust me, at the school, they call you a title teacher. Every title teacher at the school is a lead teacher of a grade. I was the second grade lead teacher. Here's a progress report that Frankton Elementary uses. Oh, there you go. Title teacher, Mrs. McWilliams. Um, it's ludicrous and it doesn't even matter. I don't care if my job was to fill the bubblegum machines at the school. The stuff that I am saying is true and they want to change this story. If I work there and I was there, people are the people that are out there trying to say, don't believe her, she's just an aide. I would be thinking what's wrong with the aides because to be honest, my position is regardless, but I was going to take the time to show you um, my story. So let's move on to what's important. The children, the red Fred push for these radical policies and the fact that I was fired for exercising my first amendment right. Have a good night.